of the circus. for Jerry of the Circus. Ladies and gentlemen, today for the first time in circus history, Mr. Randall is presenting for your edification a new and startling act. A veritable human dynamo will attempt to race around this sawdust track against Lady the Randall Brothers' fastest and most spirited horse. Lift <laughs> your eyes in the direction of the entrance, and you will see before you Lady, one of the fastest little mares in the country, ridden by that exciting personality of the ring, Jerry of the Circus. <laughs> The world's newest miracle man, the world-renowned Speed, and Speed he is in name as well as deed. <laughs> From a standing start, the Superman will attempt to beat Lady, the fastest little horse in our circus. <laughs> All right, lady. You put up a swell ring. Oh, there, girl. There. Easy. Well, well Jerry, I guess I didn't let you down none, huh? Oh, say, you're wonderful, Speed. And no kidding. Lady and I were given everything we had. Of course, she's not a real race horse, but she's plenty fast for me. Oh, there you are, Speed. Well, congratulations. That's one of the nicest turns I've ever seen. Reckon if you please, sir, it's good enough for me, Mr. Rand. Well, indeed I am. Hello there. I just want to add my congratulations, too. Oh, that certainly was exciting. Now, that comes pretty nice from the little lady. Sure, and she means it, too. Patsy's a real judge of circus acts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jiminy Wilkers, this is where Bunts and Rags go on. Then I'm next with El Mundo. Say, uh, I'll see y'all later. All right, All right Jerry. Jerry. Bye. Yeah, he's a mighty fine boy. Oh, well, he is for certain, sir. Well, Speed, I guess you and I have a little business to talk over, if Patsy will excuse us. Oh, of course. I, I must go on soon anyhow. I'll, I'll see you later. All, All right, right, Patsy. Yeah. Speed, if you just come over this way, we'll settle on exactly what you're to do and your salary. That sure sounds good to me, sir. You know, Mr. Randall, seems like I ought to be pretty useful around this here circus lot. There's lots of things I can do, sir. Yeah? Well, for instance. Well, first of all, I'm good and strong. Yeah, you'd have to be to do what you've just done. <coughs> That's funny. Did you hear that dog? What dog, sir? Well, it sounded like rags, but he's supposed to be in the ring with bumps now. 
Well, there it is again. Say, I better look into this. Come on, Speed, I better check on this. There. Why, I heard that bark over near those wagons. Oh, quick, let's see. I can't imagine Bumps letting Rags wander around and miss his act. You don't mean that little dog Jerry? Yeah, you? yeah, he's the only one we carry. Appears like he's just coming out of the ambulance there in the backyard with a clown. Why, why, of course, there they are. But the bark came from the opposite direction. Must have been some other dogs. Well, yeah, I guess you're right, Speed, but it certainly sounded like Rags. I, I thought I'd know his bark anyplace. Well, now to get back to you. Any more ideas on what you can do for my organization? Sure, Sergeant Labrin. I'm doing that there race. Why not do a comedy race later during the show, sir? Well, how do you mean, a comedy? Well, I allowed to have my race backwards, someone race in front of Maybe one of the clouds could try to pick a quarrel. Maybe even the elephants could peer like they were stampeding, and I could run for dear life backwards and get away. <laughs> well, I must say you've got a variety of suggestions. I don't know, sir. Seems like folks like to laugh most as much as they like to see something unusual. Well, you're certainly right there, Speed. Well, here's my wagon. Uh, come on, we'll go inside. Uh, step right in and make yourself comfortable. No, I'd call this right cozy, I would. Yes, yes, I like it. Many's the time I've come in here and shut out all the worry and problems of the circus by settling down to a good book or cigar. Just like home, huh, sir? Yeah, uh, it is my home. The four walls of this little wagon make the only home I have during the season. Well, now about Mr. you, Mr. Mr. Rattle! Mr. Rattle, you there? Yeah, uh, well, who could be wanting me at this time of day? Mr. Rattle, can I come in? Yeah, yes, come in. Uh, well, come in, the door's unlocked. I reckon it's changed their minds. Uh, well, now, who on earth can be? There's no one here. Well, what? Oh, uh, speed. Yes, sir, Mr. Rattle? By any chance, are you a ventriloquist? <laughs> Yes, I reckon I'm guilty, Mr. Oh. <laughs> so this is another of your talents, huh? <laughs> well, come on now. What else can you do? <laughs> well, pretty good at barnyard imitations, dogs and such Why, like. you mean to say... <laughs> well, of all things. <laughs> so you were barking like rags. <laughs> yes. What a combination. <laughs> a ventriloquist who can do imitations and a marathon runner. <laughs> the folks back home always said I'd wind up as a circus or been a freak show or something. Yeah, well, I, I certainly guess we'll have to put you to work then. But, uh... About this ventriloquist business, I, I don't see how it could fit in very well with our show. Oh, don't matter none, sir. Maybe if you didn't tell on me, I might have a little fun with the boy, though. Jerry? Oh, I'll see you can. <laughs> if he doesn't get fooled by that bark of yours, I'll be more than surprised. That allows how I can kid him, sir. Yeah. Well, here we are still talking, and we haven't yet settled what I'm to pay you each week. Enough. you, Patsy. I've been watching your turn again. <laughs> my goodness, Jerry. Don't you ever get tired watching my act? You, you ought to know by heart now. <laughs> Boy, it, it sure must be exciting to go swinging off into space like that. Uh-huh, it is. But probably no more exciting than riding like the Rusoffs or going into a steal of wild animals like Jason does or, or handling an elephant the way you do. Oh, it's no trick to handle El Mundo. <laughs> oh, here comes Boris and his brothers now. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen to that applause. Oh, they deserve it. The way they handle those Arabians is nothing short of miraculous. <laughs> Boris is sure vain, though. He's taking vows all the way off. I can hear you, Jerry. Well, I can't help it. Boy, I sure hope I won't be like that when I grow up. <laughs> oh, I guess there's no danger. Oh, hello there, Boris. Ah, the future Spatsy. Oh, sounds like you were a success this afternoon, Boris. Oh, indeed it does, Spatsy, but then we Russoff should be used to it by now. Oh. Though, to be perfectly frank, I often think they're applauding the horses instead of us. <laughs> Why, Boris, you are getting modern. <laughs> sure they applaud the horses. But after all, it takes someone to train them and make them do what they do. <laughs> and Jerry Daffle. What on earth is coming over you two? Oh, oh say, Boris, are you busy for a minute? Not if, if there's anything I can do for you. Well, I wanted to talk to you about something. Are you uh, going over to your wagon? I intended to. Will you walk with me? Yes. You'll excuse us, won't you, Jerry? Oh, sure thing. I I'm supposed to see Speed anyhow in a minute. Uh -huh. As soon as he gets through talking to Mr. Randall. Well, uh, we'll see you in the mess tent then, Jerry. No doubt about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what's on your mind, Patsy? Well, uh, it's about that South American uh, proposition, boy. Shh. Not too loud. Remember, it's a little secret. Well, I haven't mentioned you in connection with your planned anyone, Boris, but... Uh... I tell you, Patsy, it's... Well, it just can't fail. And if I could interest you in going as long as my prize attraction, I think I'd be the happiest man in the world. Well, I, I hardly know how to say it, Boris, but... Well, well, I've been thinking it over, and I'm afraid I'd better oh, not... Oh, no, no. Don't say it, Patsy. Well, I'm sorry, but... 
Well, Mr. Randall has convinced me that I'd better buy an annuity. You didn't tell him about that little plan. Oh, certainly not. So I told him I had an opportunity to invest in an enterprise that was going to South America. Well, you didn't mention my name. Oh, of course not. I, I promised, Boris. <laughs> not that it would matter, only, only until I tell him myself, I... Uh... I understand. So, you see, I guess I'll have to give up the whole idea. Oh, it's a pity. Such a wonderful chance to double your money. Yes, I know. You're sure there's no chance of your changing your mind? I'm afraid not. You, uh, you, you're not offended, are you? No, no, certainly not. I was merely trying to do you a favor. Well, I appreciate it very much. You know that, Morris. Yes, well, here we are. You will excuse me if I go in, Patsy. I seem to have a slight headache. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I will be quite all right if I rest a while. Then, then we are still friends. Yes, uh, goodbye, Patsy. I, I hope your headache will be better, Boris. Goodbye. Mm. Ah, my headache... Olga, Olga, where are you? Here. Now what is wrong? You have a cloud on your face like a thunderstorm. Yeah, I have a reason. She has turned us down. Can you beat that? Who? What? Patsy, Mr. Randall has convinced her she is safer to put our money into an annuity. No. Oh, Boris, do not tell me that. Yes, if it had not been for him, we'd have had a nice little nest egg. But no, he had to interfere. There must be some way of convincing Patsy. Yes? Well, you had your chance. And look what happened. If it's the last thing I do, I'm going to get even with Sam Randall for spoiling our plans. Did he know we were planning this thing? No. Fortunately, she had enough sense not to bring us into it. But Randall did not have enough sense to keep his nose out of our business. For that, he will be very sorry. What can you do, Boris? What can I do? You wait and see. I will not have people spoiling my business deals. Indeed, I will not. But he does not even know what he has done. There is no excuse. You wait, my sister. We will have our circus, even if we have to. Ah, that is it, exactly. What is? Now what are you planning? Uh, first of all, he has to meet a note in a few days. You mean the money he borrowed to repair the circus after the cyclone? Yes, and I know from good sources he has not enough money to meet the note. So I, Boris Rousseff, will come forward and offer to lend him enough to tide him over. Boris, that is thunder. Yes, but listen to me, but you never mind talking about the weather. Oh, Boris, you fool. Do you not understand? In this part of the country, thunder during this time of year means rain. And the rain means poor business for the sick. Oh, I see. You are more clever than I thought, Olga. The worse the audiences are for the next few days before Mr. Randall has to meet that note, the better he will like the idea of borrowing money from you. Of course. <laughs> you listen again. Rain, much rain. The clouds are bursting. Ah, uh, even the fates are playing at the edge of the roof, Hey, Olga. <laughs> <laughs> 